Hey everyone, it's Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. Okay, so in this example, I'm going to show you a really cool analytical technique that combines a number of things, right? Now, I say this quite often, just learning DAX formulas in isolation only gets you so far. So only understanding what this formula does versus this formula does only gets you so far. It's the combination of formulas and techniques DAX techniques, which really unleashes the true power, uh, the true analytical power of Power BI. And to showcase this, I mean, there's many ways you could showcase this, but in this example, I'm going to show you how I created this visualization down here um, in the bottom left hand um, of this uh, bottom left hand side of this report. Now, what I'm showcasing here is I'm showcasing something quite unique uh, that doesn't ordinary. It's, it's nothing that just sits within our data. We have to somehow derive it from. Um, layering multiple formula, I call this measure branching, layering multiple formula on top of each other to extract this really great insight. And then to make this even more compelling or to make this more interesting, I've overlaid uh, some calculated column logic um, to break out the results. So you see in this um, in this scatter chart here, you'll see that there's different colors representing if a cast, uh, in this case, this is, this is cities in which we sell something. Um, we're breaking out whether it's a um, one of our best cities or or our worst cities. So I've got three different um, segments that I've broken it down into. But what we're looking at here is we're not, we're not looking at simple calculations. We're looking at calculations which um, uh, which are being derived um, from multiple layers of calcs. So in this case, we're looking at quarter on quarter margin change, and in this case, uh, in this uh, axis, we're looking at quarter on quarter sales change. So we're trying to identify. Okay, well. Um, has a large increase in sales been derived from a big increase in margin? Or the reverse, has a decrease in sales been derived from a decrease in margin? So great insight, right? Now, what you'll find, um, and just as an aside, this uh, this entire report was um, was created for a uh, uh, one of the sessions um, uh, for the Enterprise DNA webinar series. Um, so I'll leave a link to the entire workshop uh, in the description below, where you can view the the entire workshop and how how I built this from scratch. Basically, I start from scratch and I show you all the great techniques um, to develop uh, reports just like this. But in this case, we're just focusing on this particular insight here. Now check out um, and now why why did I do this? So well, first of all, I wanted to you know you you hopefully you can understand analytically why I wanted to showcase this because we want to see if there's any um, uh, if there's any correlation if you like between sales change and margin. Did margin uh, did margin change create a ch uh, significant change in sales? And we're trying to identify you know um, is there uh, is there any uh, is there any correlation? Um, is there any clustering of, um, of of these particular sales regions based on um, based on on this piece of analysis? Now, in this case, there's not not a huge huge um, cluster. You can't really identify um, significant clusters mainly because it's just a totally demo data set. But you know, invariably, um, in your in your um, own data and your own models, there will be, and and you can utilize, utilize these techniques to showcase that that particular um, advanced insight really well. Now. The reason why I combined these all, right? The reason why I combined these all is because check out the difference in look, look the difference in look and feel of this visualization. If I actually get rid of this legend, so the city group, the city group is something that I created with calculated column logic. Now, if I get rid of that, you'll see that it really doesn't actually showcase it as well. It doesn't have, in my view, it doesn't bring, it doesn't bring as much insight as we might need, um, and it certainly doesn't allow us to see the clustering of. Um, of clients really really well because I want to see well um, not only is there a cluster but is it due to our best client is it is are they our best clients that are in this cluster are they our worst clients etc I'm, I'm adding some additional um, layers of logic that enable me to see things in a much um, a much better light and so I'm just going to um, put this back in and you'll see that it improves the visualization immeasurably in my view and we can really start to see you know maybe, maybe potentially I could change the colors a little bit but you can start to see well you know um, uh, maybe there was a, a few a few regions inside our sales regions inside of here where our sales went up, um, but you know our, our margins went down. Interestingly enough, um, you know so 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 yeah, a, a good way to identify these things. That's that's I guess what I want to showcase here. Now. I want to run through. So I've, I've in previous videos I've run through, and especially in the workshop I run through how you get to this quarter on quarter margin change and quarter on quarter sales change. So certainly check out the the, the workshop for that. 
Um, but what I want to show you guys here is how I created these groups of customers, you know, to create that legend, to create that um, uh, the, 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 the additional layer of, of, of insight into our analysis. Now, what I did here is I actually utilized inside this calculated column, rank X, to get the rank of each particular city in this case. So we're looking at each particular city and I'm evaluating what, uh, based on their sales, what rank they are versus all the other regions uh, in our table, all, all the other regions that we sell to, right? And so via using utilizing ranks, you can see a really, really powerful thing. I could I can go and rank a particular um, uh, particular cities by their sales. So you'll see here as I if I just change the sort order, and you can see here that these these are our, our our top cities by sales, and all the way down to our bottom cities. And then what I did on top of this, and this is this is the logic, this is the calculated column logic that I want to uh, reiterate here, is I went and used switch true to be able to create an additional dimension. Because if you think about this dimension, is what becomes our legend. This dimension is now breaking out our best clients, so clients one to ten, uh, which is derived from this line here, our okay clients and also our worst clients. And so this is a really, really great technique. You can utilize this in, in so many different ways to create segments of um, your data sets um, that can be utilized in a variety of different um, uh, visualizations. Because I've utilized this in a legend to a scatter chart, right? But this could be uh, used as, a, as an access all by itself to create a different um, you know, a, a, a different uh, uh, visualization. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So I, uh, if we just dive into this example here, well, this is actually utilizing that exact same, um, that exact same legend uh, dimension. But in this case, we're actually utilizing in a donut chart as well. And so then I can go and click on a particular element there and really drill even deeper into just the row K uh, regions or just our worst regions or just our best regions and then try and identify the clusters just for those particular uh, subset of um, subset of regions. So, you know, this is a technique you use across anything, any dimension. I mean, and this is just one way that I've utilized it. And it's really just the uh, technique that I want to showcase um, to you here. Okay, so hopefully um, you can see, you know, how combining lots of these different things can really get you to an advanced level um, of analysis. And, and, and that's what this, the, the workshop where w which I ran through this entire um, model in, in, in depth was all about. It was about discovering advanced insights. And I showed all these different techniques that you can implement in your Power BI report um, to, ultimately, to, to ultimately get to a, a report and a, a really high quality uh, visualization uh, like like we have here. So I'll, I'll certainly leave the uh, link to that workshop um, uh, in the description below. So if you do want to uh, discover more and, le and learn more about how I created this from scratch, certainly, certainly check it out. Okay, so hopefully you got a lot out of um, this particular insight, you know, how I did, how I worked it out, how I implemented it. Um, you know, there's, there's a lot to learn there, a lot, lot you can replicate in, in your own models, in your own environments. So so certainly all the best. Um, if you like this, uh, like this content, so, uh, really appreciate it. if you could throw the video a like. Uh, really helps uh, it really helps me out um, and and definitely subscribe to enterprise dna tv putting a lot of content out there on power bi um, so you know I, I i know you'll really benefit from it so i want to get it out to you as soon as i can okay all the best take care um, good luck with this one